Hey guys, for Collider News, I'm Ashley Mova. The first Independence Day was a major hit back in 1996, but 20 years later, Roland Emmerich's alien invasion is no match for forgetful fish. After a record-breaking opening weekend, Finding Dory is still sitting pretty at the top of the box office. Its $73.2 million weekend to haul makes it the biggest second weekend ever for an animated film. Tack that number onto its week one earnings, and that brings its domestic grand total to $286 million, making it the sixth highest earner of 2016 after just 10 days in theater. Falling pretty far behind is Independence Day resurgent with a $41.6 million start. Some are estimating that it won't make much more than $100 million during its entire domestic run. Resurgence isn't going to make up ground overseas quite like Warcraft did, but it has already pulled in about $101 million in 57 markets. The biggest winner amongst the new releases is Sony's The Shallows. It kicked off its run with $16.7 million, which is an excellent start considering the film reportedly ran a $17 million production tab. Right now, estimates have that one taking in a domestic grand total of $45 million and possibly more. As for Gary Ross's Free State of Jones, unfortunately for Matthew McConaughey, it marks his worst wide release opening since We Are Marshall in 2006. The movie took a total of $7.7 .7 million and posted a $2,760 per theater average, which is on the low side, so things aren't looking too good for that one. For more on the weekend box office, head on over to Collider.com and be sure to subscribe to the Collider Videos YouTube channel to keep up with all the must-know movie news.